Hi, Logan here from EasyCoffeeHouse.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make a caramel macchiato. A caramel macchiato is one of the most popular coffee drinks, tastes really great, and personally I love them. So, let me show you what you need. You can make this at home for under a dollar, as opposed to the five dollars you could pay in some coffee, coffee houses. So let's take a look. First, you're going to need some milk, vanilla syrup, caramel sauce, espresso, and a milk frother. In addition, you'll need a cup to put it in, an espresso mug if your uh, cup is too large to fit under your espresso machine, and you'll need a spoon. If you need to find the caramel sauce or the vanilla, you could check some stores around your house, or you can go on Amazon. If you look down in the description below, you'll find some links to the best prices on Amazon. So let's get started. First, I'm going to get the milk frothing, since that takes the longest out of any of this. Uh, and we're just going to put in some milk here. And turn on the machine. I'm going to put the lid on so that we don't hear the noise. Next, we're going to put our mug under. Start the espresso machine. While that's going, we're going to put in a splash of the vanilla syrup. Let's get a little bit more in there. There you go. And that sound is perfectly normal for the espresso machine. They use a very high pressure to extract the coffee, so it is normal to hear that kind of noise. Let's put this uh, cap back on the milk. We're going to take this off so we can get that nice, great foam, some space to expand. Well, that's going. After this finishes, and you'll know when this red light turns off, we're going to pour the, we're going to put the spoon right about uh, with the pour spout is, and we're going to pour the steamed milk out, so the hot milk. Then we're going to scoop as much foam as we want on top. After we scoop the foam on top, we're going to pour the espresso in, drizzle with caramel, and then we'll be good. It makes a beautiful drink, and that is just about done. So let's get going. Now let's move the base off to the side so I have a little bit of room to work. I'll be using the spoon here. And pour that right in. You can see that nice steam. It made a very nice hot milk. Put in a little bit of foam. Foam is just really, really great on this machine. I really love it. But, there we go. Let's put the foam in. Then let's take our espresso right here. And if you watch carefully, I'm just going to pour it straight down the center. If you want to be artistic, you can pour it down the side. However, it's personal preference. Depends on if you have guests over. And I'm just going to pour that straight in. And as you can see, it creates a nice little uh, effect inside there. Then we're going to take our caramel sauce and drizzle it right on top. Once again, feel free to be creative as you do this. I just like putting the caramel in. And if you notice, the foam will actually start to disintegrate under the weight of the caramel and the heat of the milk. So it's, it's pretty cool as it bubbles and that caramel infuses into your drink. And there you go. That's how to make an easy caramel macchiato. This has been Logan from EasyCoffeeHouse.com. If you want to see any of these products that you've seen today, you can take a look in the description below where I list them all out along with where to get them. In addition, if you'd like to find this recipe in text format, go to EasyCoffeeHouse.com and click the recipes link. This has been Logan. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and enjoy your coffee.